So where do you look at? Uh, do you just uh, assess or analyze face or body language or what do you do? Well, if we were meeting on a boardroom on a table and I come in and you, everybody's already sitting there, then I only have the opportunity of looking at your hands on the table and therefore body language of how your hands move and what you're gesturing with your different fingers and how you hold the elbows and rest it or rest it or think they will say something. But a lot in a, a situation like that, we're looking at a person in the face. Mm -hmm. And when we look straight into their face, give them 100% of your attention, they at once start to come back into their own body because the focus is on them and they are much more centered. If I was talking to you and looking elsewhere while I'm talking to you, you don't know whether the person is listening or whether they're listening to any part of you or not. So the number one important thing is to give that person the full focus that they deserve if you're going to say something because you also want to make the best of your expression to be uh, communicated with that person. So I must give them full focus. So I will have their full focus. That increases the power of your communication. You hold them fixed in that energy field, then you are getting the best of the thing rather than looking at so many others and talking at the same time. It's very unsettling. So the most important and settling thing when you're communicating someone, look them in the eye. They are worthy of all your attention, otherwise why would they be there? And why would you be there if you're not going to get the best of your expression of what you want to say them? To get the best advantage, you have to give it focus. So there's one thing that we have to learn, the certain basic principles. The basic principles are focus, balance, and structure. So that applies in anything you do. The focus of the managing director of a business, he has to stay focused, right? and work with a sense of balance to see both sides and all sides to see the bigger picture, not only one side or the other side, because then that imbalance in the opinion will not see the wholeness of it and balance the company's product. Mm -hmm. In the end result, the product has to come out with balance and the balance is money and productivity. If there isn't balance, then something will be thrown out of order. Whether it's your vehicle, whether you're standing and walking in your own body, or in a company that you're running, or this company that is going to perform per my form of balance. Mm -hmm. Then we look at the structure. Every company has structure. If there isn't structure and order, then there is disorder and there's imbalance straight away because the structure upsets the balance. Mm -hmm. So we look at the focus, I have to focus on it, make sure there's balance and then I, by examining the structure I will see whether the balance has to be corrected, whether this in the structure needs or that structure needs. That applies whether you're in business, whether you're communicating with someone, whether you're looking at your car, whether you're looking at your house, Everything is built in the same basic principles of how you work from the ground up in an orderly fashion. When there's order, you are free to do many more new things and add and grow. If there is disorder, the, the confusion or the imbalance or the lack of cooperation in the different departments or levels of the structure will upset the ones on the top because the, the what rocks at the bottom will be amplified at the top. So the first thing we really look at is the basis and the basics and basic principles. And those basic principles apply in every walk of life.